last video we talk about the zonal circulation and we continue to um, wrap it up and we talk about the Hadley cells and furrow cell and the Wesley's and here is another image to show the La Nina and the El Nino worker circulation. So obviously that um, for this image, the low face will be the La Nina and the three circles will be the El Nino. Okay, let's summarize this. So the two main drivers of the global circulation are the latitudinal gradient of net radiation that causes poured energy transport in the atmosphere and ocean, and the corresponding gradient and transport of angular momentum in the atmosphere. The maximum transports of both properties occur about latitude 40 degree in each hemisphere. The total energy transport Maximum is about 6 pw, of which um, ocean currents account for about one-third at 20 north degree. The easterly winds in, winds in the tropics gain westerlies relative angular momentum from the earth rotating beneath them. And the westerly winds in mid-latitudes impart westerly angular momentum to the earth by form drag over, uh, drag over mountains in a surface friction. Hence, Wesley angular momentum has to be transferred forward to maintain the Wesley's. In low latitudes, the transfer of energy and angular momentum are primarily by the vertical plane, south to north Hadley south with air rising in the tropics and the subtropical anticyclones located beneath their descending arms. In middle latitudes, the transfers are by horizontal eddies traveling and stationary waves in the mid-troposphere. There are typically two to four stationary Rossby waves around the hemisphere as a result of mountain ranges and land sea thermal contrasts. The effect of mountain ranges involves the conservation of potential velocity as air flows over the barrier. There are about 6 to 12 shore waves around the hemisphere. The zonal wind belts are easily in the tropics, the trade winds, and easily in middle latitudes. Between the subtropical heights and the subpolar lows, wind speeds increase with height in the westlies, with a strong jet stream in the upper troposphere. Typically, there is a subtropical jet stream and a polar front jet stream. In summer, over the Indian Ocean Africa, African sector, there is a high-level tropical easterly jet stream as a result of upper-level heating over the Tibetan Plateau. The mid-latitude westerlies sometimes break down into a cellular pattern with blocking high pressure cells these patterns are more common in the northern hemisphere the southern hemisphere circulation is more zonal along the equator there are three troposphere deep standing zonal circulations walker walker circulations with rising arms over the three heat source in amazonia the congo and the maritime continent and sinking over the eastern oceans at irregular intervals, the Pacific cell is detached eastward. So this chapter we covered, uh, firstly we talked about the climate dynamics, so that's important we have to know about the climate dynamics and the dynamic and thermodynamic process that give rise to the large scale of atmospheric circulation. 
So that's the dynamic, the thermodynamic process that gives rise to the large scale atmospheric circulation. And the two factors that are responsible for global circulation is latitudinal differences and the con corresponding global distribution of angular momentum of the atmosphere. So around 40 north and south latitude does the power transfer of energy maximize. And around one third, that's around 33% percent of powered energy transfer occurs in the oceans and the angular momentum the product of a body's momentum of inertial measure of an object's resistance to change its rotation rate and its angular velo um, velocity so what happens to the angular momentum that is picked up by the trade winds so um, the textbooks mention that in the tropics, the easterly trade winds gain westerly relative angular momentum from the earth rotation and in the mid-latitude. So westerly, the trade wind lost its westerly angular momentum to the earth by friction drag to the air over momentum ranges from the drag. And what is the importance of defense suggestion in the 1920s? So he suggests horizontal eddies, low and high pressure systems could transport energy forward. There are 6 to 12 short waves or in the west waves. The structure of the planetary waves favor energy and angular momentum transfer because the waves are not symmetrical. So what is asymmetrical? So the asymmetrical is um, here it mentioned about the structure of the both planetary and shore traveling waves favor powers transport of energy and momentum because the waves are not symmetrical. Instead, they tilt forward towards the west so that the poward limb, limb is longer than the equatorial limb following the net energy in the westerly's angular momentum to be transported poward. Whereas much of the asymmetry in Halley's circulation during northern summer, it's the Asian sector, so it's from 40 to 150 east. The wind patterns in the mid and upper troposphere is described as much simpler described the pattern of these winds. So over poles there is a deep polar vortex with extensive westerlies blowing around it. The subtropical high pressure enter, uh, centers extend upward into the troposphere and in the tropics there is a band of weak easterlies extending from surface into the troposphere. So what is a wave number 3 pattern where the waves have an average spacing of 120 longitude? What is the effect of conserva conservation of potential velocity on an airstream as it is crossing a mountain range in the northern hemisphere? It's anticyclonic, clockwise. In 1939, Rossby first described the waves in the upper Italies. The land sea effect evolves, so the development of low level baroclinic frontal zone due to the temperature contrast between old land, cold land and warmer ocean and this and this is um is the land sea effect involved. So what reason is given for the lack of seasonal change in the westerlies in the southern hemisphere? So because of the presence of the Antarctica. 
When is blocking most common in the winter half year? How long is the cycle from a more zonal flow to a blocking pattern? A month or more? So blocking patterns may persist for a month or more, and so are important components of regional anomalies of weather and climate. So what is Walker circulation? The Walker circulation is in a west to east. Height cross section through the global equatorial zone. 